For this drawing we're going to take a cylinder and turn it into something interesting. So we're going to start like we did with our old cylinder and we're going to draw our Y down like so and you can see it's slightly left of center as well. The second thing that we're going to be doing is creating our V shape. Noticing that our lines are slowly moving towards each other. As well as that, we're then going to make our book cover. So we're going to decide that we want this one to look fairly square. This one, though, can be a little bit longer as it angles its way down because we're making a longer cylinder shape. We're then going to box in the top, like so. And you can see we've got that basic rectangle shape. We're then going to also turn it into the cube of ice and drift those across like so and drift that down. So you can see I've got that basic rectangle shape. If you remember from the cylinder, the next one we do is we design our four lines and we divide them in half also on our back shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some sort of smiley face sort of curves on the obtuse angles. We do our very gradual curves and on our acute angles you can see we do sort of quite sharp curves. Now because of the perspective the back circle might not completely match up to your front one but you can see that basic idea there. The next thing we do is then we draw in from the most bottom part across to the most bottom part and from the top part across to the most top part and then we've got our basic cylinder. So this is where you got up to last time. Now you need to turn it into something interesting. I'm going to turn this one into a can of V but you might you know turn it into a roll of toilet paper or some other cylindrical shape to um, enhance your drawing. So I'm just going to go about finishing this drawing off and you can just watch as I go through it. So I'm going to firm in some lines that I would like to firm in. Remember with the back circle, we only firm in the back side of the circle, so the top section. So it's very important that we don't do that one there. I'm also going to add a nice little ring the inside here. And with that also sort of make it look like you know I've got my can in there, my can shape like so, so you can start to see that coming along. And another thing I might want to do is I can just roughly use this curve shape to help me create some of my lettering. And I'm just going to use that shape there to help me create my V. So you can see even though the top of a V, the letter V, usually is straight, we've got a slight curve on it and that obviously adds to the illusion of the 3D dimension. And I think the V can has something like this around the back of it with some little dots and things as well so we can firm those in like so. And now it's a matter of rendering this can of V and trying to make it look as realistic as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start quite heavy with our rendering on the bottom side and just get lighter as I work my way up to the middle section. You can see that there and we do the same on our top part of it all the way across over the circle we just lighten it up in the middle so it looks like the light is actually reflecting on that edge. Remember we don't need to be too careful and now uh, we can use a number of different sort of rendering techniques as we go through. What I'm also going to do is uh, get my yellow 
and go across. I'm going to set a lead of yellow, so the letter V, sorry, looks yellow and stands out. And go around the edges there. And then the other thing that I need to do is I need to uh, sketch this in. And I don't have a lead pencil with me at the moment, but what I would do is then grab my lead pencil and give that a bit of a colour in as well. So I'm just going to do it with this one here because I don't have a lead one with me. But just giving it a nice bit of colour. And colouring in over the top as well. So we've got our can idea there. And the last thing we need to do is sort of bring the viewer's emphasis onto the can. So we're going to draw some nice straight lines. Whenever we do the whiteboard marker, we need to imagine if we were going to cut this out, what's it going to look like? So that's where the whiteboard marker goes, just around the outside edge. And then we're also going to add a bit of a, a drop shadow to it. As you can see there, so we kind of lighten up as we get further out. And another thing you can do if you just wanted to, you know, add some features in if I wanted to make it look like perhaps this can is on a fridge, in a fridge, sorry, on one of those white racks. I could just add some little lines heading off in that same direction there. So it kind of adds to the bigger picture. So that's our V can sitting on the rack of our fridge, making a cylinder something interesting.